Alright guys, what's up? It is now Sunday morning. I don't know the date, so I'm gonna put it here. But it's two weeks after Arsenal Support Expo. And I'm sorry this has been the first vlog I've done since then. It's just, uh, yeah, I really haven't had a clue what to, what to do. Like there was so much work and so much build up and so much effort and time and even investments put into Irish Muscle Power. He didn't just down to the plan of it. And then it was done and it was like, what now? What do we what do we focus on now? What do we do now? So the past two weeks have kind of been like brainstorming, collecting ideas, deciding where we want to go next. So that's been the past two weeks. And uh, it was just gonna be me talking and my thoughts. So I didn't want to do that. I want to actually show content. So yeah, I'm back. I do promise to be more regular on this than I have been over the past two weeks. But what's happening today? Today, today I've just drank a coffee and got my HMB and the glutamine shake because I haven't eaten this morning. I'm going to go now to the gym and train. I'm going to do like a full body pump session. I'm not going to bring the camera with me because I haven't got time because it's now like 20 to 11. And at 11.30 we have a video shoot. So yeah, quick session. I'm um, packing stuff with me for after. So I'm going to bring some porridge, skills, and a protein shake for after the gym so I can go straight from there to the shoot and just be smelly. I will catch up with you guys after that because yeah, I'll talk to you guys later basically. So that's why I haven't been vlogging. I'm back, skills and porridge, going to go to the gym and then you guys will see behind the scenes the video shoot and stuff like that. So catch up with you guys after the gym. Shoot there, ready to rock. It's not recording. Nothing. This is staying on the vlog. <laughs> that is not going out of the vlog. That's where I need to go. Then go. Then go. I need to get my bag out of the car. Hold on. You need to sort your life. What do you need to do? Hold on. Johnny Dog. That's a wrap, apart from audio, I'm going to show you how to record the audio, but all of Do you mind that? Go and get them. Yeah. Go. Why is it wet? Yeah, so that's a wrap. I'm uh, going to record the audio, I'm sure it's high, so I'll take about five minutes. It's not a lot. And then, home, walk my dog, get food. I said walk the dog. <laughs> I said walk the dog. Home, walk the dog, get food. And yeah. That's us for today. I'll be back on the main camera soon. I can't vlog you around me. Head in the shirt house here to get the audio finished. And then that's us done for the day. I'm gonna go home, get food, and go walk the dog. We just home uh, the day went so smooth, everything went perfectly. Cannot wait to see the video. Should be out later this week whenever the products arrive. But for now, I'm getting food because I'm starving. I made this like the other day, it's a bit blurry. It's like a taco layered thing. It's awesome. 
like literally, but the macros on it are like so bulky. It's like 18 grams of fat, pretty good. Like 80 protein, 80 carbs. So bulky in carbs and protein. But it's so good. Tastes amazing. I know a lot of guys want to say like 79 grams of protein is a lot to have in one meal, and yes, it is. But uh, I find myself eating like a lot less meals now. Like I'm not having six meals a day, so I do need to bulk up my meals slightly above the standard days 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal that everybody thinks so I have my daily targets and I do get them and having high protein in, in like one meal a day lets me hit those targets whatever works for the individual is whatever works everybody's different everybody has diets I can cope with and this helps me because sometimes I get to the end of my day and I find that I'm lacking on protein and it's hard to get protein in without anything else if, unless you're just eating like plain chicken or plain turkey or something like that so yeah this tastes awesome and it helps me set up my macros for the day. So, food done, digested, got a shower there, I feel a lot better. I'm gonna bring Flick for a walk now with the legs and hopefully it doesn't rain because the sky looks really bad, but still want to get the majority one. Watch me a flick home or walk. My phone fell out of the. Not fell out of, sorry. Fell down here. Thank God, no crack screen. You're probably wondering why Martin bring us out to the back step to talk to us. I'm busy, I got peace and quiet here. So, yeah, what I want to talk to you guys is about kind of the expo, but not the expo. I want to talk because. We had so much build up to the expo, so much hype about it, and so much planning, production, work went into it. And then, after it was over, it was like, what now? What are we doing now? When really the answer all along should have been, continue doing what we're doing, continue doing what we said I'd do. So the past two weeks I haven't vlogged much, I haven't communicated with you guys much, and I do apologize. But, like, that's it, you know, when I started Fitting Fitness, I started with a vision in my head, a goal, and it was clear, and I haven't, Worried off from that goal. You know, when I started, nobody could have imagined the brand they wanted to create, the life they wanted to create. They might have, one or, one or two people might have said they understood, they didn't, not even close. The expo shocked everyone. It was the first glimpse of, not even glimpse, like it was the first flicker of the brand that I decided to create. I'm still on the work close to finishing what I started. Actually, what I started will never be finished. It's always going to be work. It's always going to be fun. It's always going to be enjoyable. It's going to be a life. I'm building a life. I'm not building a business. I'm building a life. But my vision from day one has been clear in my head. And that's the only place I'm honored. Throughout the lifespan of any fitness, I have never had the need to have other people understand what I'm doing, to tell them what I'm doing, to you know go uh, pat in the back, well done, Martin, you're doing the right thing. You know, you're going well. I don't need that. What I believe in, in my head, and I will work and work and work to make it a reality. Because someday my work is going to show everybody exactly what I had in my head. I don't, I don't have to tell them. My work will speak for itself. I don't have to have them understand. They're going to see. That's the mindset that I have, and that's the mindset you should have. If you have something that you believe in in your head, don't be afraid to just go after it, grind for a couple of years and make it a reality. You know, you don't need people to understand at the start, you don't need people to back you at the start, you don't need people to support you because they will in time, they will understand not that they understand, sorry, they'll see in time they'll see, in time they'll give you the recognition, they'll give you the, the approval but really you don't even need it if you're doing something for approval of others you're in it for the wrong reasons don't do it for your life to benefit your life and benefit the lives of the others around you that's why you should do what you do, that's why I do what I do I'm building a life for me and everybody else around me. That's what Fitting Fitness is all about. To help and inspire as many people as possible. Be that myself, be that my family, be that my friends, be that people I come in contact with as a brand. I just want to uplift others. And Fitting Fitness has given me the platform to do that on. So yeah, be yourself, be genuine, and do exactly what you believe in. And you'll always reap the rewards. You know, hard work never not delivered results. Never not. Hard work never did not deliver results 
Okay, I just sound like an idiot now. I don't know how to say that, but you get what I mean. You know what I mean? Through hard work will never not give you results. I think that's how you said. I know what I want to say, and I know what I mean, and you know what I mean. But it's getting it out. Sometimes it's the problem. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm starting to sound like an idiot, and I have food in the oven. So yeah, during the week, what's happening? I'm gonna do a macro breakdown video for you guys, and also a training video because I know a lot of you guys are asking me on Snapchat like about nutrition advice and stuff like that and training advice. So I'm gonna make videos about them to help trying to help you as well so they'll explain in depth exactly what i do why i do it and what i believe in it's not saying it's right for everybody it's not saying I'm the most educated person out there out there ever but i am educated above and beyond the sort of average gym goer you know i have a fair knowledge of what it, of what, why i do what i do so yes i'll make a macro breakdown video on a training video and also this week we have new samples arriving so i'll show you guys those so a lot's happening i'll ask you to be back and i'll catch you guys during the week thanks for watching Thank you.